Hello friends, in this video I am going to discuss about AlexNet architecture and I am going to discuss on top of what I have already taught. So uh, AlexNet is one of the most important architectures uh, in the era of deep learning because uh, it, it, it all started the uh, transition from traditional machine learning and computer vision techniques towards deep learning. So let's get started. Some of the quick facts, the authors of the papers are Alex, Ilya and Jeffrey Hinton. Jeffrey Hinton is one of the biggest uh, names in deep learning and machine learning. And uh, uh, owing to the first author, Alex, uh, this architecture gets the name AlexNet. Uh, it, as I mentioned earlier, it created a revolution in machine learning and uh, pushed uh, towards the state of the art uh, machine learning algorithms. It won uh, IVLRC competition in uh, 2010, which is a really big deal. There were more than now uh, a million of images in that data set and uh, win winning that uh, competition by a greater margin, it's a really big deal. And uh, it was one of the first deep neural network in 21st century, meaning that there was a similar architecture with uh, convolutions uh, back in 1919s by uh, Jan Lin Kuen called as Linet and uh, uh, Jan Lin Kuen is another big uh, deep learning uh, professor yeah. so but uh, AlexNet had took the advantage of uh, advancement in computational hardware like GPU and uh, with the million data set it uh, really made a difference before moving forward, there are a few prerequisites that I would put forth. Uh, you need to know the basic understanding of a convolutional operation, pooling layers, nonlinear activation functions, and uh, dropout regularization method. Uh, I have discussed all these but for dropout in my previous lectures, and this would be lecture would be like based on those. So if you don't have a good understanding of uh, these topics, I would uh, advise you to just uh, look into my videos or uh, some text, whichever you find it useful. So let's uh, move into the model architecture. Uh, AlexNet has five convolutional layers, two fully connected layers plus a softmax layer. Each of the convolutional layer has a convolutional filters followed by a nonlinear activation function. So in this uh, original paper, they have used a rectified linear unit as a nonlinear function. And uh, out of these five, three layers are followed by a max pooling layer. So the input size is uh, fixed to 224 into 224. And uh, since uh, we are using a uh, fully connected layers, we need to fix this input size. So, and it has a whooping number of 60 million parameters. So definitely uh, GPU aided uh, a lot for this performance. So the architecture in the paper is slightly confusing for the beginners. So I made a simplified diagram. So assume this is uh, AlexNet architecture, kind of a black box where you send in an input image and you get the output as the predictions. So in our black box, so we have uh, first five convolutional layers, two fully connected layers and a softmax layer. So uh, three of the convolutional layers, layer one, two and five are followed by max pooling layers. So it uh, reduces the dimensions uh, to a greater extent, almost to half. So this is the uh, crux of uh, AlexNet architecture. Five convolutional layers, two fully connected layers and a softmax layer. So we send in our input image and we get the output uh, predictions owing to the class. So. Now how to make your own variant of uh, AlexNet. So back we have just five convolutional layers. Uh, so you can maybe add some more convolutional layers or uh, subtract, um, add more uh, number of uh, filters, kernels. And uh, you can also change uh, the number of neurons in the fully connected layer. 
So this is a Keras implementation of AlexNet. I have declared the input size according to that and since I originally trained in ImageNet with the thousand classes, I have also just uh, for namesake, I have given thousand classes. So the first layer has around 96 uh, filters of size 11 by 11 and uh, the activation function is ReLU and uh, the first, uh, second and the fifth layers are followed by max pooling layers. Okay. So the second one has 256 filters of size 5 by 5 and uh, the third one and the fourth one has 384 filters of uh, size uh, 3 by 3. Okay. So once uh, we have five layers, we have a, a, a fully connected layer. Remember that uh, once we transition from a, a convolutional layer to a, a fully connected layer, we need to flatten the arrays first. Otherwise, it won't be possible to make the connections. So both the fully connected layers are of size uh, 4096 neurons and then uh, comes our final uh, uh, softmax layer. So you can uh, see the model uh, parameters if you want uh, with uh, the summary option in Keras. So you can see uh, first convolutional layer, uh, activation, pooling and then uh, we have our fully connected layers over here. Firstly we are flattening it out. So you can see the shape also here. So it's around uh, uh, 31 31 uh, into 256 owing to the number of filters so once uh, before passing this to the fully connected layer we need to flatten this out so you can see the change in the shape here so this would uh, make it compatible for matrix multiplication with the fully connected layer so here uh, you can actually play around with the number of filters, filter size, you can actually change the filter size uh, 11 to maybe 7, 11 is uh, slightly higher actually. So you can play around. This is all about AlexNet architecture, though it looks pretty straightforward with just 5 convolutional layers and 2 uh, fully connected layers on and a softmax layer. Back in uh, 2012, it was a very big deal. Uh, so I'll be discussing about uh, other advanced architecture like uh, residual networks, mobile net, uh, Google's inception model, which are all uh, based on, on inspired from AlexNet. Uh, but you need to have a good understanding of uh, AlexNet architecture first. So I would highly recommend you to read the paper and uh, play around uh, with uh, the hyperparameters, change uh, the different layers, understand by yourself. So you'll be able to understand how inception, residual nets, uh, mobile nets work easily. Thank you for watching.